Yo guys, what is up, what's going on? Today I'm doing the transmission and differential fluid changes on my 2016 WRX. I've been fortunate enough by my friend who works here at Brasso Nissan's Garage in Calgary to let me use their lift. So it's easy to do on my WRX, but enough to work in the garage, we're able to lift the car up. So let's go get started. So to start off guys, of course we need to drain the fluid. So here is the fluid drain bolt down below. You'll wanna use a T70 Torx bolt. Just go in there and loosen it up. And once you've got it loose, you can actually unscrew it by hand. Oh, not bad. There it goes. Nice. It's actually free floating pretty good. Yeah. Probably because it's hot though. It's super hot. <laughs> okay. So this is what the drain plug looks like. You can see there's actually a little bit of shavings. It's not as much as I kind of expected. Uh, I'm currently at 60,000 kilometers on this car, so that's the right interval, right when you should change it. And let's see, there's some sludge, but not as much as I actually expected, so that's pretty good. Don't forget to remove this washer. You don't want to accidentally forget that and double up. Uh, I've heard of people reusing this again, but I picked a new one up at the dealership for only $4. If you guys have the ability to have two drain tanks kind of set up, then you can actually get started on the rear diff at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and drain that now. Justin's gonna do the honors on this one. It's just a half inch ratchet or socket that you need to use. So just a really long breaker bar. This one's at 38 pounds of torque though, so it's a bit tighter than the front trans. I don't think this comes out as fast. It like, I think it like, because it's the top uh, fill bolt is on there, it like kind of chugs out or something. I don't know. Yeah. Nice. That looks not that dirty That's even. Not that dirty. Wow. Can't even see it on the camera. How bad are the shavings on that? It's too terrible. Oh, there's like a big chunk. Big chunk. <laughs> the big chunk of the diff. Yeah, let's take it to the light. So there's definitely more shavings on the rear diff there, but. I don't think it's too bad. I feel like it's kind of normal to have shavings on the back after the first one, There's right? It's actually like a layer. Yeah. So once the rear diff fluid stopped dripping down, you can put the drain bolt back into place. Again, using the same half inch size, but torque it to 38 foot pounds of torque. So the fluids I'm gonna be using are Motul gear oils. So for the rear, I've got the Gear 300 75W90. And then for the front transmission, it's just the regular Motul gear, also 75W90. To also make things really easy, I picked up this small fluid pump and we're gonna use this for both. I'll have links, of course, down below in the description for all of these. This just smells so bad. Does it? It's like the nastiest smelling stuff. <laughs> So I put one end of the hose up here. And this hose is huge. <laughs> you could put one on the floor. Well, should we just like, where should I put this? I'm gonna hold it with one hand. It's making way more. <clears throat> I think it's moving. I think. Oh. <laughs> it's coming up. It's super thick and like pretty hard to push through this pump, but you can see it going in the pump. So now we're just going to put the fill plug back in as well. Same thing, 38 foot pounds. Once the front transmission has stopped dripping and all the fluids come out, we can also put that back into place. Don't forget to put a new washer or a gasket onto the drain plug bolt here before putting it back into place. This is the part number for the replacement gasket and it just goes on here like that. Okay, that's probably more than me. So instead of using the pump for the front transmission, we actually found it to be easier to just use a funnel with a flexible tube on the end to get it into the fill hole, which is on the bottom of this, uh, on the top of the transmission, but beneath here. 
So we've got it lined up and now we're just gonna pour the fluid in slowly because it's pretty thick. Actually not that slow considering we warmed it up. Yeah. I had this in the garage for like the past three months. So then last night I put it in the house in like where it's the warmest. Right oh. under, right under. Yep. Perfect. So we're good? I think we're good. And it never stated what there is. All right guys, so that's how to change over your front transmission fluid and the rear differential fluids. Again, I use the Motul Gear Oil 75W90. I'll have links down below in the description. Don't forget to double check and tighten your bolts to the proper torque specs. And once you're finishing everything, always double check those levels. It's 3.3 liters in the front and 0.8 liters in the back. So make sure you look at the equivalent of that if you're living in Canada or the US. If you guys have any questions, as always, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you're having a great day or night, whatever it is where you are.